Yeah, you can oh start. Yeah, like, so I would like your podcast. For Maybe. Sure. It used to be good, but then we both got depression. <laughs> I think depression makes it better really? sometimes. I'm not going to lie. The more Recently, we've been on and we've just been like, so I hate everything. I'm not <laughs> kidding you. That's Brooke and I are kind of in the same yeah. boat. You know what I mean? But sometimes those spikes of mental illness create for amazing content. Oh, yeah. So. Absolutely. Use it until. No, I'm yeah. kidding. We, <laughs> we need to. Yeah, it's a blonde. Bl- it's a blonde and brunette. Too. It's like the same thing. Wait, I love that. We should do a yeah. little crossover or something. We should. It'd be so funny. I'm so fucking Did you just yeah. ask me to other. use my connections <laughs> to bring <laughs> Tana on podcast? just so you could fucking do a collab with the podcast that you like more? I'm a, uh, such a podcast uh, hoe. I'm on every podcast. This like, is insane. <laughs> you are... There, you are worse to me than your boyfriend. Okay, my boyfriend is not. My worst boyfriend is good to you. No, he's not. This morning no. we were supposed to play basketball. Okay, am I and then some jealousy here? Yeah, yes, problem. Yes, I am very jealous that uh, uh, that that Cutie has a podcast that she likes more. Okay, okay. her other podcast, which is lame because there's two women. It's like you only everybody knows you need yeah. one. No, yeah, zero. Two, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Get back in the kitchen. But you there's a I mean? lot of. I agree. No. Oh my god! Thank yeah. you. It's Finally, like, someone's uh, saying uh, it. Why women shouldn't have microphones? It's like Ta- oh, you know, it's Tan not is turkey here. or ham on the yeah. sandwich. Like that's that's where we're at. This is like this is like ninety eight percent of podcasts. So what you're <laughs> saying? Absolutely. Um, Tan is here, everybody. Before we get started, I need to clarify something. How do you say your last name? Mojo. Tana Mojo is oh, here. So I have been butchering your name for like the last three weeks. It's. I swear to God, I think my parents just like smashed their face on a keyboard, and then that's like what created Tana my Mojo. Name. I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's a cool name. It's like a. It's like a villain, like a power pose. What's villain. the origin of it? <laughs> I yeah. love that, like Mojo Jojo. Yeah. Um. The or it's French. It's French. Yeah. Oh, obviously. I'm when I go to France, I'm like Mojo, and everyone Mojo. gets it, and then I come here, and everyone's like, Tana Montague is on my podcast. I don't. <laughs> Wait, yeah. they, they, it does seem like there should be a T in there for some reason. There, you know, I completely get it. Like Romeo yeah. and Juliet, like the Capulets. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is it? Monte. I don't Montague. Know. I'm making this up. I Literally. Don't know. <laughs> right. Do you speak Just French? Not at all. Okay. Like I said, Where are you? You're Wait. originally from Vegas. I am originally from Vegas. I did my research. That is the Paris of America. Yeah. It's very. Very, oh, Vegas is like probably the, the opposite of uh, yeah. Paris. It yes. makes a lot of sense. You know, my demeanor yeah. and actions are very Vegas. You are very Vegas coded. I am Vegas From the coded. jump. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but I'm, I don't know. I like it now. I have a newfound love for it. Wait, I, how, I, th- maybe I shouldn't ask this. How old are you? 25. Maybe I shouldn't you ask You can ask this? that. I don't know. People get weird. <laughs> People do get fucking weird, but my age has been out there My forever. stepbrother grew up in like Vegas, Vegas? Yeah. Like Henderson? Henderson, Vegas, yeah. You went to Green Green Valley? I went to Green Valley. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped out of there, but... So did he! <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. I feel oh like that's, that's par for the course for Vegas, though. Wow. Wait. Oh, yeah, they don't want... It's the... In the school districts, it's the 50th in the world. It's absolutely the worst school district. Wow. In the, yeah. in the U.S., not the world, but... That's, uh, that's what I was asking. Wait, I was like, is I wonder... worse than, like, Mississippi and yes. shit? Oh, yeah. Wait, how oh, is yeah. that even physically possible? Because that's I think really if bad. you have a kid in Vegas, you just don't really give a fuck about it. It's you like an accident. F- yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember being 10. Like, who, why was I born? Why were you, why are you raising me here? <laughs> Wait, you know? well, okay, that makes sense. What do your parents do? Um, well, I have, I was like adopted when I was like 12 or 13. So um, uh-huh. my like birth parents are just, I don't even know what they do. I don't even know how to classify You've it. You've never like, like tracked them down? I No, I, I mean, when I was like 12 or 13, I lived with them for like, you know, 12 or 13 years. Am I allowed then, to ask yeah, these questions? You can totally, you can, okay, I'm good. an old yeah. book. I talk yeah. about it all the time. Okay. Um, so my best friend's family kind of took me in and um, yeah, they nothing to write home about what they do. Just a very normal job. What do they do? Normal. Like, like work in a casino? No, that, I guess that's what everyone thinks about Vegas. Like the, um, one of them does. <laughs> They're like, actually strippers. Does stuff with <laughs> Apple. Like she does like all the tech type of shit. And then dad just, he's, he's had a million jobs. I don't know. Just a bunch of random shit. Okay. You know? But they deal with me and they love me. So that's, do you that's like, enough. Do you like the Vegas strip? I love it now. Okay. It took me a while. I feel like I moved. I moved out here when I was like fifteen or sixteen, pretty much, mm-hmm. so like ten years ago. Because um, I was like, another no- great place to be as a teenager, right? That's again, it just you it hit ex- the high notes. It explains so much, you know. But it's like yeah. Vegas or L.A. Less, you know, two evils had to kind of pick one, and um, yeah, I eventually I grew a love for it as I got away from it, and I can see why. You know, I don't see Vegas as the rest of the world. I How'd you start time. on YouTube? Well, like, what what drew you to YouTube? I feel have you Are answered these questions? We jumped in with questions so hot. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Like, <laughs> you're like, like ten minutes. Yeah. Normally, normally we never actually like interview the guests that we have on really? because it's like usually a person that we know very well. So they just like kind of sit don't here. Care about. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank so you for caring. We're so yeah. they kind of sit here and we just like chirp at each other and they just like. 
kind of sit there and then they talk about how like shitty of an experience they had. As they <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, Andrea like Botez. Yeah. Anyway. Set the oh. fucking bar low for the <laughs> podcast guests. So, you know, I know so people leave canceled. We, we were all researching. Like I was studying. I, I flew in this morning. You were such a liar. No, I literally. It is studying. in his nature. He's deceptive. He's gay. I don't know. I love a good liar. He's I love a gay liar more than anything. <laughs> I'm a you're, we're you're, get along. you're a huge. You're like a gay icon. I love the girls and the gays. Because like I have all, everybody in my like all my gay friends, mm -hmm. they've been chirping. I've been talking about like Tana's coming on the podcast and they're freaking out. It's yeah. The straights want me dead. Yeah. And then oh. the girls and the gays. I hate so, that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, the girls and the gays are, that's where it's at. That's kind of my, yeah. my demographic. They're I guess. so excited. You know? Why do you, yeah. what, why? I don't know. Cause I talk about things. I think that interest the girls <laughs> and the gays, things of no substance. Drama. Yeah. Drama. Okay. Yeah. Messages. Straight man hatred, which I don't want to say in your house, you know. I you don't can't. No, no, no. I we, say it right yeah, in front we, of them. We, yeah, we we say it all the time. Some are okay. I don't we, know let's you. Shit you might, on straight. Yeah. You might be. No, no. I'm I'm. We're straight men are bad. We're he's, bad. He's <laughs> the worst. Yeah, he's a closet trash. Taylor Swift fan. Wait, and then what? He, no, he, I'm not. I'm yes, stand, you are. Standing solid with John Mayer. One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> he's the biggest closet Taylor Swift fan. My and good then he friend projects onto me to like gossip about Taylor Swift, but he really he just loves her. I just I am a defender. Of John Mayer, oh, I was yeah. never done. You don't have wrong. will to defend you today. This is three, I know. That's why I, I feel I feel tense. I feel tense right now. Three I'm girls. Winning, <laughs> winning. Yeah, um, we we like to we like to have a diversity of opinion here and, and yeah. diversity of background. That's why that's why we have a token gay and a token woman. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> I love that for you. Yeah, I it is true. Uh, I, but it, this is not. I should not be the center of attention here. You are our guest. Let's get back to. I'm interested in learning, though. I can't lie. I, I never go on podcasts without knowing anything that happens on them. And this is this, like... We, we're both flying blind. Yeah, like I'm straight. At, I just jumped into the water and I'm going to see I if I think or swim. I literally asked uh, you to come on by way of Jeff yeah. because Cutie was like, oh, I want to have Tana on. Yeah. Not fucking realizing that it was just so that she could do a ploy to have no. you on her <laughs> favorite podcast, <laughs> the other ploy. one. It wasn't a ploy. I thought a lot of people compare our podcasts because we are... Well, we used to talk shit before we got depressed. We would just like... We would... <laughs> My podcast name is Wine About It, and so we drink wine and talk shit. Wait, I love that. Yeah. I and will come whine about everything. You, with we're you. not relevant enough for you. That's not how I. That's not that's how I so roll. Nice that's not my vibes. I She's like, I'm perfect. on here. <laughs> no, 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 I'm a no. podcast whore. Like, if no. I, I okay. love to go on everyone's podcast, and like, if if I vibe, I catch a vibe, and I love to complain. Like, I love. I about love it. complaining. Complaining is so fucking therapeutic. I like. I like complaining more than sex most days. You know, yeah. Really? It's it. It's Don't just a, really. It's what? freeing. It's freeing. It feels good. People look at it so negatively, but I think. Do you ever complain about sex? Of course. Is that, is that like your number one thing? Like I've it's actually, like the best of both worlds. Lately, uh, my thing has been like if I have bad sex with someone, just being so real with them about it. Okay. Like getting constructive. Like, you know Ooh, what I mean? God like, damn. Oh, that's damn. Good. I, you like, got dick notes. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like exactly. It's like you know, because I feel like girls just lie about it. They suppress right. it. They're like, it was so good. Give us, you know? give us the no. I I appreciate that. I love that. Give us uh like what happens most frequently that you you think is bad that dudes are doing. I think it's it's more so. It's just like I. If you're going to like connect with someone and have sex with them and you feel like they don't maybe care about you enjoying it at all. Yeah. It was like, you know, like if it was that's just five one. minutes of them like grunting and then they're, they they think that's like normal. It's like you, you can't go your whole life. like. What this, are big you know? do's for you? Like definite do's and I, then don'ts. I don't know. I, I don't think there's like definite do's or don'ts. I just hope there's like you a just know when it's wrong. And, yeah, it, yeah, you can just feel when you're not connecting with someone, you know, and it's like, oh, my God, that was. Yeah. It's like weird seeing you be a girl. girl talk. It's weird seeing you be a girl. Oh, she's one of the guys over here. No, it's no, she's not. No, she's in it. I she, do that, though. Like I go on Jeff's podcast fuckers. and I'm like, no, no. Fuck she, yeah, let's talk no. about Adesanya and fucking, you know, and then I'm like, what am she, I saying? She's not one of the guys at all. She's like a well, totally now unique. Now I want to be one of the guys. <laughs> she's she's a totally unique, separate thing. Uh, just Called autism. <laughs> just, yeah, mental illness in general. He was just saying it was such a cute smile on his face, though. Maybe he's in love yeah. with you, like low-key. <laughs> Lo I love cutie. Everyone I do. laughed. Like, so it's like it's not off the I table. I am, no, I am like, I am... Uh, 
the annoying little sister that comes in and like steals things and eats all of his snacks and then leaves the house. No, that's Austin. That's You're describing really Austin. No, because he like complains. I don't complain. I take what I can get. Yeah, I complain. Well, uh, like Hassan does offer me shelter sometimes. That's really nice. Yeah. And but do his... you think it's like a power play though? He's offering you shelter so that he has control over <gasps> you. Kind of. That is so sociopathic. That was Why would I do a that? Joke. No, or, like I never or, thought about it. Or, or, or I'm just a nice person. I know those no, are just hard to come by out here, dude. Yeah, like I've never thought about that way, but like I'm starting to think that's probably it. You know, good person is a unicorn in this city. Yeah. I'm starting to think that's probably it. I think he's trying to take advantage of me. Oh my, that's kind of hot. Take though. advantage might be of, into it. of you but in like, what capacity? I mean, I don't, he's trying Go to through he wants me for my money. That's what I want. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Is, that, is that what's going on? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no. I wanted. He knows Hassan has been trying to get at me for a long time. He's not my type. Oh my God, that sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Well, we love a slow burn. Are you nicotine gum? I am a nicotine gum boy. <laughs> Talk to me about this. Are you trying to quit? or you No, I already did years ago, but I still chew nicotine gum nonstop. What is it like? I'm kind of like debating if I go you down and try it if you want. <laughs> I, but what if it like, dude, it, the there things I'll put in my body and then I'm like, what's in it though? Like about nicotine gum. It's, I don't know. I just yeah. bought nicotine patches. The Vegas It's good. It's me. from the earth what's the craziest you know? thing you put in this healthy oh that's a horrible question Say with a scroll like of answers I hate that you, said oh. it like that. <laughs> you know that i don't even know where to begin there okay you know? I'll, i'd have to get my scroll it's a horrible question because it's offensive no oh. no 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 it's i'm not nothing oh. offensive okay. do you do you <laughs> think um, when we do our wine about it crossover that you can give me a makeover are you serious so right hot. now <laughs> oh, I want, like, are like, you I fucking want, like, joking i yeah, thought that was what we're gonna do today yeah but you didn't ask what her. What do you mean makeover? You're so no. hot. Hannah, that's nice of you. But I want to know. No, I'm, you. I'm telling facts. I told you this. Ah! I'm I told you facts. this over. I tell her over she's and over. She's sitting here like literally no makeup on. Like bright blue eyes. Always. Gorgeous Cara Delevingne eyebrows. The told hair is herring. Like told I'm, you this. I'm just, I'm just being. I want to look like you and Brooke. And I want to fit in. And I, I wish Will be, was here. I want to do pretty girl shit. You are, you are a pretty girl. Oh. And you are able to do pretty girl shit whenever you want. The dynamic, the dynamic is broken right now. I wish Will was here. Why? Too much girl shit, dude. Fuck no. women. Well, Make that even, sandwich whore. <laughs> it's not even that. I mean, don't laugh at it. It's, it's, what? I was trying to, I'm trying to, I don't know. I'll, now, yeah. You, I'll mask it up a little bit. He's trying to do pretty girl shit. Yeah. I'm trying to do pretty girl. Go ahead. Say it's natural and beautiful. Go ahead. No, look, yeah, whenever you talk about periods, he says it's natural and beautiful. Look, I that's think it crazy. Is. It's a natural. Mine aren't. <laughs> Mine fucking aren't, dude. Let Good me tell. I don't even want to. We don't I like her. This isn't the podcast where we have to talk about my period, dude. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> she talks about know. way grosser shit. Look, it's worry. a natural human experience. Periods are it, natural. Yeah, it and happens. Beautiful. It just happens. I just you know? think it's look. I just think it's what women are experiencing these things, and it's beautiful and natural. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> we were just talking about before you came. We were just talking about like the last time I cried, and I was just thinking about you know abortion. And you cried? Yeah, abortion rights being taken away from Did women. Did you knock a yeah. bitch up? That's when <laughs> I cried. I cried about it too because your mom didn't get one. <laughs> Banger. That was a good one. Thank Banger. you. Banger. You know my mom. That's really <laughs> fucked up. She's like literally I in the room. I still wish you would have gotten one. She's in one fucking room. That's fucked room. up. Um, <laughs> you were, are you trying to be like a mean girl right now? Yeah, I'm, Tana? I'm, cool. You're trying, I'm to... trying to impress Tana. Okay. <laughs> I All right. love it. I love so, it. I'll join you anytime. You've done you've done many things uh, in the YouTube space. Um, I don't know most of it. I know like only the the cliff notes. Yeah, so and they're all horrible. And they're all horrible. Yeah. But you're oh, also yeah. friends with Ethan, my co-host uh, on uh, Leftovers. Oh, you guys H3, have a H3. podcast together? We do. Damn, she didn't even fucking know that. God I'm not me. kidding you. I'm raw dogging this right now. Okay, I don't know so anything about you. So am I. Um, this is awesome. So, <laughs> which is great. But uh, yeah, we we don't even it's talk. Do you know you what I do yes. normally? <laughs> Do you know like what I do as a profession? Not at all. You don't even know? <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, that is kind of cool. Wait, you don't know any of us. No. That's so cool. But I'm here. I'm making new friends. Hopefully. Have you ever watched friends. Twitch? Don't even know how to get there. Like, That's is it a so website? Cool. Okay. This is, awesome. this is no. like you're you're cool. you're an extremely online person who's been online <laughs> on YouTube I'm not since smart you were enough like for Twitch. Four. You don't have to be smart for Twitch. But I've decided that my new thing Twitch. is going to be dating streamers. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. So I do recommend against that. Really. But well, good to know. It. Well, I think it's just Who like could she date? You know, it's it's a different like little category. What, for what do you look for? Fun. And I think it, it's got to be a certain type of mental illness to be like I'm going to be live twenty four seven. And you know oh. what I mean, so it's like I'm into that. Yeah, there's a lot mm-hmm. of that. And I want to psychoanalyze. Do you want it. a specific type of man or or? No, woman? I think you're kidding. For host. No, I know, I know, or woman, right? Yeah, man yeah, or woman. Yeah, yeah. but so, I'm in my like celibate era right now. Okay. I'm, I'm reformed. Well, then a twitch streamer is the perfect person to date. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you if you never want to fuck, they don't go out, dude. That's, they that's, don't like. It's like kind of it's kind of good. I've been in my real grandma era. Like I've just been inside drinking tea. I've been doing crossword puzzles a lot. That's <laughs> what I. That's what. 
Not That's kidding. how I spend my time for it's the most nice. part. It's nice. I spend really it indoors. Nice. Um, okay, so you let, let's talk about some of the the cliff notes mm. before we move on. Fake convention, fake marriage, fucking. Okay. Stalker. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna I say. So you, I, those marriage. are the only. Wait, you have a stalker? Those are some of my things. That oh, okay. Kinda... So I know that I know Tanacon. Yeah. I I've Me heard too, of that. Unfortunately, I've heard of that. That was. Yeah. Do you guys know what that is? I saw it on Wikipedia. Yeah. Did you look up her Wikipedia? Yeah, I read the whole I'm thing. I'm proud oh of you. Oh, my God. I read the whole thing. No, but but like all the gays that I talked to love TanaCon. <laughs> yeah, because they love, they love like. They're like TanaCon. Mis- like they yeah. love it. I don't know. Like I, for as much of a disaster as everybody said it was, all yeah, the gays are love TanaCon. They want you to run it back. Yeah, it's it like, like. I know. That's what's crazy is I meet people all the time. And they're like, do it again. I'm like, did you see what happened? But Tana, like I legit, I would go to. In Tana. your words, what happened? Um, I <laughs> held a convention in competition with VidCon. Um, yeah, fuck Hank Green. Dude, and what did he do? You know, yeah. he didn't do anything. I yeah. Was, I was more frustrated with like, I don't know, other people, not Hank Green himself. Um, but I'm frustrated with Hank Green. Are you? Fuck did that he, guy. <laughs> did he also write the books? Is he that guy? Him or, or the brother? brother? I don't know. Both of them. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't really know. I was coming at the CEO Jim Lauderback at the time. Now we're really cool. Love Jim Lauderback seriously, but um. I yeah, I held is. the convention. It was really poorly planned. I had How really, old were you? I was probably 18. Okay. And I had, I, I just didn't choose good business partners and I learned a lot. And it's, Oh my it's God, just let a, me plan a convention for you. Like, I don't, everyone I thinks I want to run it back. I just want to, I'm going to hold that L and just really? move on, you know? Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't think I can plan I'm, anything. You know, there, there was also the, the Idup saga. I remember mm-hmm. you've talked about this, right? Yeah. Like you talked cause you saw him like apologize I recently, know, which is yeah. kind of it was unexpected. I, I, you know, I it was so long ago that I just, you know, I moved What's on. What's the Idub saga? He, oh, it's this whole you thing boxed? to explain. <laughs> we we box. Yeah, he boxes now, right? Yeah, yeah. I think he just, from what I see, he seems like he's a completely different person now. Yeah, he is. You know what I mean? And I I did not know him back then, and so am I. You know, uh, I did not know him back then at all. Yeah. Uh, I only met him through his uh, wife, uh, who I love. She's great, and I realized that like uh, the perception surrounding him was was not who he currently was at that time. Like when I met him, he was already like on the pathway to you know rehabilitate himself. From I his- love anyone's yeah. growth journey, and Agreed. you know what I mean. Like and. I've definitely changed as a person so much, so many times. And so like before the public eye, so I have nothing but like, I'm rooting for people who ever, you know, want to do that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I was debating having him on canceled and kind of on my podcast Mm -hmm. and doing that, but it also was just so long ago. And I feel like I've garnered (coughs) such a new fan base since then that a lot of people don't even really know about it. And yeah, I don't know. You know, it's just, yeah. You don't want to rehash anything or. Not even that. I just like, you know what I mean? Like it's when something's been so long, what's, yeah. What's, what's the, the point? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He I feel grown. that. He seems, he seems like he's doing great. Yeah. On, I, I on our growth him. era. I don't know what happened. Our, it's uh, it was a, he, he, Ian was before the, the boxing guy that you know him as like, it, who does guy. like charities and stuff mm-hmm. was a bit of a bad boy in the YouTube era where everybody was making like hit pieces on one another and he yeah. was oh. the guy who, like, basically made the most popular version yeah, of that called Comment Cup. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy who made... He was, like, leafy. Well, I I would say his politics, even back then, weren't anywhere near as, like, incel... He did garner a big incel fan base. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, it was weird, because he would, like, shit on Keemstar, and he did one on, on Tana... <clears throat> I don't, I've never watched it, but I don't know. I think it was like honestly, he did it. I was poking the bear too. I like came at him on Twitter. Like I, when I look back, it's like you, you made your bed for that one, Tana Lie in it, and it, people want to argue all the semantics of it, you know. And I, I just don't give a fuck about it now. But I just at the time, like I don't want to say it was a great video because it's like you know what I mean. But like he did that was that era, and he, he did the. Damn he rolled thing. up to her. And, and said the N-word, like, screamed the N-word uh, when uh, they took a photo together. Like he, pro- wow. he And I didn't even know it was him. I didn't, yeah, I'd never seen he portrayed himself as a content. fan and then did that. Oh, I see. Which is, like, real, like, fucking 4chan poll incel cringe <laughs> yeah, that shit. Is some, like, yeah. So many words I don't know. So many things I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, those people definitely know you <laughs> and That's probably hate you as well as myself. For sure hate me. So. That's like, yeah. 
you know, it was it was something along those lines, and and you know, he he apologized uh, to Tana personally in his in his video where he was like apologizing for oh, like the nice. old videos that he had done. Yeah, it, something that nobody really asked for too. So it was like very cool for him. Yeah, it to felt just, like it was something that he really yeah. like wanted to say yeah. and get off his chest and stuff like that. Yeah, take so, ownership wow. over. It. Yeah, but it, I mean, I I wouldn't change that whole era for anything. I think I learned a lot, and I was on a path to kind of be on my high horse and be an entitled brat and it humbled the fuck out of me and it you know okay i needed that i feel like at the time that's some interesting. Ways or another all right was, so then there was a fake wedding is a I, I don't even know what that is like you got married to jake paul or something yeah yeah me either okay so there's <laughs> so there's one part of this there's one part of this and we can cut this out if you don't want it to be in it and it doesn't matter like this isn't live we can cut anything, we can cut anything i thought we were live <laughs> oh you thought we were live no, Fuck no, that would have been in, no, no, that would have been insane. This, this whole setup gives we're live. Well, no, no. this is because I am set. usually live uh, <laughs> yeah. on the uh, on the other yeah, side. No, no, we can cut it. No, so I don't know that you were like married to Jake Paul or whatever at yeah. all. I just like kind of had heard about it, mm -hmm. but at that time when mm -hmm. you were, I think, dating Jake Paul or or mm -hmm. married to him or whatever, you sent me a riot message at two a.m. <laughs> I don't think that's oh possible because I've been what? banned from Raya since I was This was a like long 18. time ago. Well, someone, since you're by your name, sent me a hey oh, message. Oh, if someone else is Drama. fucking being me on Raya, I'm pissed because they won't let me back on. <laughs> I don't like, have it. I don't oh, have I'm so Wait, pissed. how'd you get banned from Raya? I just was using it at an age you're not supposed oh. to use it. <laughs> oh. And I'll hold that L, you know, like that, yeah, that no. was not a wise decision. Um, I think yeah. it was around that time. But now you're I, the I, age. I was definitely of age at that time i was like 90 i don't i just remember getting a message uh on raya from you and i was like i looked it up and i was like the first things that popped up was that you were married to jake paul i think <laughs> I, I really That's like funny. sincerely i'm telling you like i've been banned from raya since way before jake maybe someone in that era I can't maybe someone so is. did you message back no why not I don't, asshole. Asshole. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. He, I he thought you were married. <laughs> so you're on Raya. He didn't want to be a homewrecker. No, I mean, I've, I've been on Raya, yes. Have you ever been on a Raya date? Yeah. yeah. Really? Like a lot of them? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I've been on... Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I got on Raya when it first came out because mm -hmm. my... Uh, the girl I was, like, hooking up with <laughs> before... <laughs> The girl I was hooking up with at the time wanted to like prove how like cool and and it, you know friends we were and not anything more. That she was like, oh my god, oh, the, the, the so idea, funny. the idea of me because I've definitely done that to a guy, and the That's idea of yeah. a guy funny. knowing I'm doing that is like I'm having a visceral yeah. reaction. Yeah, right and now. and That's like so she was funny. like, oh, don't worry, like I'll get you on Raya, and I was like, okay, fine, because I had crazy. like tried to get on it. But I couldn't yeah. because, you know, the panel, I guess, like, said no or some shit. I don't know. I think yeah, it was, like, connected to my... now they let everyone on. I think my mailman's my... on Raya. Yeah, no, this was, like, yeah. five, six years yeah. ago. Like, a, like when it first came out. When yeah. Raya first came out. Um, and they had the panel. And, like, she even showed me, like, the, the panel of judges that they have. And, like, how they select, like, their selection process and stuff. And she was like, oh, I know the CEO. Like, I'll, I'll get you on it. And I was like, fuck yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Let's give her a call and get me on band. And then, yeah, well, it's too been such a long time i don't know if she still knows the ceo i don't know fucking yeah. anything i haven't talked to her in years sorry Let's call her i miss um her. Yeah. <laughs> so she got me on it and yeah i've, I've been on many dates off of it and really? it's it was great it was great in the beginning any relationships come from raya no every raya date you i ever went on was call them relationships so like i've sure. i've uh i've been in situationships situationships is that like your vibe still are you a big dater? Uh, I go in and out of phases. Let's What's your say. longest relationship? Um, my longest relationship was two years. Good. It was like one of it was my first serious, my first serious girlfriend. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, that was that was many many years ago. It's beautiful. I don't know why I just started grilling you on your love life. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Especially because I, I rarely ever talk about my private life. I don't. Yeah, I don't. So I don't know if that was me on Raya. I'm also not a big first messenger or wasn't on Raya, at least at the time. But if it was, you know. My assistant. Props to the girl for shooting her shot, right? Uh, my assistant, Taylor, she's but she's on she's on Raya. I think genuinely because I think now it's like you don't have to like. You're downplaying you yourself. You have a whole ass assistant. 
fame. Well, I'm like, I'm like a businesswoman, <laughs> but I'm not like. No, you are. You get it. I mean, you You'll get it. Check um, out. You check out. Uh, Taylor's super hot, so I think you just have to be like pretty now to get on Raya. I think that's like you don't have to be like famous. You just have to be gorgeous because well, you can get the friend passes. Like if you have a yeah. friend on Raya that maybe is noteworthy, they can just like you know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I use that pass. phrase in my real life too. Yeah, you know, like that oh, yeah. person's a friend pass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a funny. friend pass ass motherfucker. But you, she, yeah. we were trying to like. Do you ever like? play tinder or like I'd yes. be like, let's play tinder and then you yes. pull it out and you play the game it's fun i or like if you're in a relationship and your friends on him yeah still going on there like it. doing it i yeah. think it's so <coughs> fun it's like tiktok it's but fun npcs around la i feel like yeah. that's a very girl <laughs> opinion because yeah. i feel like for guys it's like <laughs> it's a so treacherous girl. space where no, you're it's like so fun. it's girl oh, every girl is gonna say no to me like i feel like that's the the really? shared uh well not for me i don't feel that way i was gonna <laughs> say you don't strike me as fear of rejection <laughs> no 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 i'm talking about the average common male experience well, that's yeah. a di- which the gay, i don't the gay think world's different i what tell us well that's why you have yeah that's why you have me to talk about gay experiences yeah, yeah. So on uh, big mistake. Yeah, no, grinder is like I, I often say that you could get a blowjob faster than you can. Oh get my god, you For can. Sure. Grinder's insane. It's insane. Like I've been doing this thing where I sit in a room full of straight men and I just go on YouTube and type in the grinder notification and I play it and I see who turns their head. Oh <laughs> that's awesome. That's smart. what's the grinder Wait, notification? Wait, that is awesome. It works. It's like well. does it work? It does work, yeah. Oh, I don't that's think I've so ever I don't think I've ever heard the grinder notification. Never. Wait, so like Dude. Is this like a YouTube video or do you just do it no, on, I just, on your podcast? I, no, yeah. I just do this in my real life. I love doing just things for just my own entertainment. Are, have you, you know? ever been, are you surprised by the people that turn their heads? It yeah. is crazy. I just did it to this like group of rappers in New York and it was funny. Oh, like who, who, who popped up? Who perked up? I'm not, I, you know, I didn't come <laughs> on here today to out anyone. <laughs> yeah. Is that the grinder <laughs> notification? Yeah. That oh. is one of them. So you're, there's like, there's like, oh, yeah, so, no, so no, far, Hassan, yeah. you're there, straight. Is like a whistle one? I, mean, I, I, uh, I, that, I think Whistle is a different app. My, oh, my Wait, boss one? one time went and got a blowjob during lunch break and his phone was going off like crazy and we were supposed to have a meeting and he was like, oh, I'm going to skip out the meeting. And we're like, we're supposed to have a meeting over lunch. And he's like, I just got to go back to my hotel room. We're at a convention. Yeah. I looked down at his phone because it was going vroom, 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 vroom. and I was like, it's fucking grinder. I was yeah. like, you yeah. motherfucker. But you can't like, grinder's not really for dating, huh? It's no. more for hookups. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it is for hookups, but like it can, it can get into dating. Yeah. If you like, if you have a connection with somebody, yeah. like a lot of people are like, like grinder's not for hookups. Or it, excuse me, it's not for dating. But like you can, sometimes you'll meet somebody and you'll So what app click. would you use for dating? Um, honestly, I started Instagram. U- yeah, Instagram. Yeah, like Instagram because like I I started like getting uh noticed on Grinder and Tinder. <laughs> the app he used for so dating I, is the Hassan Ever Broadcast on Twitch TV. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't date through. I don't date his fans. No, but every he he gets you know I don't date his fans. But like all queer people watch him, so it's like hard oh, to like not. Ally. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I so just, I'm a, I'm, I'm an enemy. <laughs> so yeah, that's why they watch. Oh. They yeah. hate watch. They're like, I can fix him. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> nope. Um, yeah, he's a foe. He's a home foe. But on Raya, yeah. you get you get flagged. So like Taylor was over and I was like, let's play Raya. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And so we go to Airstream it to the TV. So I do that. Play. It you can't flagged do that. it. Yeah. Because on it's, Raya. Uh, there's oh, no shit. screen recording allowed. Yeah, there's no screen recording allowed. Oh, and man. technically oh, Airstream. Shit. And so we're like, fuck. Yeah, so I then we had to, I used my phone's camera. That we air streamed to the TV, and then her phone was in between my thighs. Women so in STEM. <laughs> That's women. So everyone in the room could watch. Yeah, it was sick. It's that no. It's why one of our so much things. ingenuity. That's it's wild. Girls' night. Okay. Playing Raya. Speaking of doing girl stuff, uh, <laughs> you were supposed to come on the broadcast for some tier list activities earlier, but instead you have the fucking sticker on. Let's talk about Taylor Swift. What's huh? going on? We're not talking about it again. No, right. don't take it off. Don't take it off in shame. No, yes, keep it Grammy on. Grammy Museum. She's a huge Taylor Swift fan. She had a pop up at the Grammy Museum that got closed today, but it was way small. I thought it was way bigger. Like, was she? She wasn't there. Like, you were. No, no, no. It was, no. It like was her. her outfits from uh, her Speak Now tour. <laughs> like, her physically- the Grammy Museum is full of outfits. Idiot! Don't laugh. They had a Harry Styles outfit. I, I wish I could have smelt it. I don't. <laughs> what? I don't care. Hot. Why? Why would you bring up Aries? Styles? like, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, never mind. Valid. Oh, they had a whole <laughs> Shakira floor dedicated to Shakira. Still, and I it's don't. like in glass cases on mannequins. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of, so is, they won't let you smell them. Like unfortunately, unfortunately, no, found not. out can't smell them. Was there a lot of Taylor Swift? There's a lot of Swifties. Were there bracelets? There were. A, and everything? Yeah, someone came up to me actually. 
And oh, what? Did they, were they a fan of you? or? Yeah, they... wine about it. This bracelet era. Wow, that's an amazing one, too. That's yeah. a cute one. The bracelet oh. era is plaguing me. I leave, like, every show on tour, like, yeah. up to my elbows with them now. It's I love yeah. it. Is it like yeah. a... It's, it, it, did Taylor Swift start that? No, no. Fuck just, no, I, bro. That's it comes like, from, like, the, the EDM community. Okay. And, like, I, March, I like, got you. raving. No, and, like, listen, that's what I remember. Listen, being on, like, ecstasy I'm back in the day. And people I have to like, clear. I have to clear some things up with yeah, this. Yeah, clear the air. This is some... Okay, listen. Yes, it started EDM. They did that. But the reason Raves, plur. the mm. reason plur. It, it infiltrated and got spurred into the Taylor Swift community, this was never before the Eras Tour. The Eras Tour started this because on midnight fuck off queen. Yeah. <laughs> on midnight she has an al- a song, You're on Your Own Kid, where she says, Make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it. And everyone took that line and they're like, Okay, bitch, we're making friendship bracelets. It's incredible. And Taylor that's where it came Swift from. has like mind control on white women. It's crazy. It is. It she is can get incredible. them to do the people's revolution. That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> once, once she reads a little bit of Mao's r- little For red sure. book, she is going to literally. Put she it. actually does have so much, it, like so much control over it. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. Like, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, if you're, if you're like bored, if you're like a bored housewife, or even if you're like, you know, grew up and had a relationship as a white woman, oh you love God. Taylor Swift. <laughs> what? I don't Do, does Taylor Swift have my control uh, over you? I really love and respect her career. I love her music. I think she's an in- incredible lyricist. And like, even just going to her tour, I've never seen anything like that. Her stage presence, her ability to yeah, she's sick. bring in the audience. I agree. Would I say that? I, I don't know necessarily know if I'm like, I think calling <laughs> myself a Swifty is. Why are you laughing? It's okay not to be a Swifty. No, 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 no. It's just, I love her. I love yeah. everything about her, but I know what. Like my assistant is a diehard Swifty. Like right. she like would. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like Judy's I'm not, not. doing She's it very justice. Normal. I'm doing like a, you know, am I doing a justice to the Swifty community by being like oh, I'm a Swifty? Like I don't know anyone who's a, a Swifty. Yeah, you fucking grew up in Nevada and like, you know, got yeah. adopted by your friend's yeah. family. Like I had Lil Wayne posters all. You over had my well, actually, <laughs> you had you had a fucked up upbringing as yeah, well. Yeah, there's songs. She okay. Everyone's it, she's for everyone. Anyone who says like, oh, she only has breakup songs. No, she, like there's a song called Seven that's really about like growing up and being fucked up and just yeah. Like, she what happened to her everything. that was like fucked up? As a kid, well, she's never got that scarf back, dude. Yeah, she did never get that scarf well, back. Isn't that, I mean, once, that's an analogy for her virginity. Good job. <laughs> Whoa! I, I'm an ally. That was, that was great. Yeah, that her, was amazing. Her parents are divorced. Her mom had cancer. Mm. Her like, she, as soon as she became into fame, she just got fucked over. Like in fame, like her whole adolescence was just kind of stolen from her through mm. the industry. And so, like, you know, she's had some shit. See, once I know, if I were to know, like more then i would be like yes i'm the, but like that's some yeah. swifty shit like i didn't you yeah, just taught me that. That, is, that seems like the, the tana the, the tana mojo story <laughs> <laughs> a lot of s- parallels <laughs> yeah we'll talk the swifty drama yeah. on uh yeah your podcast yeah, bitch <laughs> <laughs> i can't so believe she was calling me a bitch i kind of liked it and then oh, i was like whoa wait, sorry. wait. Yeah. no i wish i was i wish you were <laughs> okay so we, we covered all that we covered the riot thing um what else the riot guess? thing yeah Covering that was major topics yeah. no i've just been in my mind uh since uh since you've since been thinking about it since 2000 and no no since you were like oh we should have tana on and i was like oh, oh i'll ask her about this that's kind of crazy like you've always just like perceived me as like so getting more- at you on raya yeah, I was just like, damn, yeah, he's she's been, hollering. He's been, I've been, I've, no, I've known he's gonna ask this question for weeks. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, you told me. Did that I tell you? you? Yes, you oh, told were me. You like you were you flexing it, question. or were you like this weird girl? He's like, like, no, he just, he just said he was, he, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna ask this question because like at two a.m. on, you know, because like, I, 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 really I thought don't it would be, think it was me. Cause cause I thought it would be good. Sounds like me. I thought it would be, I thought it'd be good. I thought it'd be good drama. That's like my whole life, though. Like I'm just like, well, it does sound like me. Yeah, I have really bad memory. I was hoping you'd have a moment where you would have been like, oh, I had such a big crush. On you in 2000, that'd be funny. No, but I sadly, no. You know. but, but turns out you didn't even know who he was until now. I, that wouldn't have stopped someone from hitting me up on Raya, though. I yeah, maybe think. he had good. What were your photos looking like at the time? I don't remember. You look okay. were probably all right. I did well for myself, I think, on Raya <laughs> in general on dating apps. So, well, that's the show. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, bye. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we're talking about this. Okay, we were talking about do's and don'ts, and you kind of were a little evasive. Like you just were like, oh, it's whatever. Any do's, any oh, don'ts. Oh, sexual do's and don'ts. Yeah. You want to yes. revisit. Mm, I love Should have asked me on Raya. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Um, yeah, why didn't you respond, asshole? There's pl- well, you thought I was married. Mm. Well, that That's was one, but I don't even really remember. Then, right? But 
<laughs> there was a lot of what do you what do you mean? There's there are entire fucking videos on YouTube like of of uh, Pokemon making fun of me for uh, uh, not responding to girls on Raya. Uh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't I don't know. I really I don't think it was me the timeline wise, but who knows? Maybe. Uh, anyway, do's and don'ts. Maybe it's <laughs> crazy. He's Here's still holding on to it. Um, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It was a long time ago. Just in general, a big don't for me is like overt, insane narcissism. Like a man who's going to go through his camera roll in bed with you. Like that's a huge like. There's you dudes who do that? You, okay, so you're not a camera roll guy. That's wait, good. what does that mean? Wait, there's, a type, a, there's a type of what guy What the like fuck? That. Wait. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Austin no. is that type of guy. No. Austin is that type of guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Austin, Austin doesn't know because he is. Yeah. No, like, I'm not. Like, I've never gone just, through my camera roll with somebody. It's like we just hooked up, and why am I looking at photos from your trip to Big Bear three years ago? You know what I mean? Like, Wait, that's, like, that's a thing? That's like, such a thing. Dudes who pull out their yeah. phone. Yes. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, I pulled out my camera roll before, but not on a hookup. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. A camera roll is an amazing point of reference, and obviously an archive of your life i'm not saying you can never open your camera roll i'm saying there's a time and a place and a social but like but okay okay why well, i gotta through. come out i'm a camera roll guy but not like <laughs> but no yeah, he is he is <laughs> no no no. but 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 like not on a hookup okay like, like we're talking like, like we're dating we're, we're, we've like been together time. for like a few different weekends like yeah. we're like in our third weekend and then maybe i'll pull out the camera roll to reference something to show all like your shirtless photos yeah, yeah as long as to as show all your shirtless photos no no, no 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 i would never show them shirtless pictures as long yes, as it would. makes sense you know i there's there's a line there yeah. there's an area there so but. you had sex with someone <laughs> and they literally were just like Yo, this is tana. more common than you think you like i'm serious. Yo, tana check this, this shit out this is more common than you like, think like how how i don't i've been asking dude what I are you gay for a second i was like i can't see another camera roll i can't see another fucking oh that was God. like all the dudes you were fucking were doing this no, I don't know, dude. I <laughs> what oh. the fuck? But you know what I am realizing? What, okay. Were they but but they were like pretty boys or something, right? Like I don't know. Would they show pictures of themselves? Like I need to make sure yeah. I'm not one of these guys. Yeah, like you I don't are. just I don't show pictures of myself. Why would I do that? I'd be in Austin, bed you and my brother, when we were in Japan, went to oh, breakfast he's, 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 multiple scary. times. You made him change his seat every single time no. so you could I'm not, not I'm even look outside at the beautiful scenery this of is, Tokyo. At the Four Seasons, but instead, because the I light was, well, I wasn't staying there. He was. <laughs> but the, because the light was actually hitting his face so he could take Snapchat pictures to send the Japanese Tana, this twinks. Is valid. Honestly, that, that's valid. Thank you, Tana. You are the most Thank camera you, roll Tana. guy ever. Also, this is why, yeah, this is why that's the love you. Right there. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't poetry. be. Poetry. It was, it was oh, completely God. dark. Poetry? I was yeah, trying. Like oh. Poetic, but. I was trying to take photos and it was dark and so I had to get where the lighting was. You know what I mean? I, I No, yeah. I, it's unacceptable. So. Okay, but to be, to be clear, Tana, I don't want you to think I'm one of these guys that's like sitting there like, oh yeah, check it out. I'm, I don't think that. It's a romantic. You know, you're not swinging for my team. So True. if you want to go do that. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, I'm not like, yo, check out. I, I'm not a flex type of guy. I don't yeah. like to flex. <laughs> but I've, I had this out-of-body experience the other day where I saw this TikTok and this girl was like, I get the biggest ick when a guy's leaving Starbucks and he has a Frappuccino. It's just like, as a, and I, I was like, damn, like, I'm one of these girls. Like, this is so fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Like, I, I think I just have to retire the whole ick of it all and do's and don'ts of it all because it's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I do a lot. Wait, of the girl has an ick when a guy drinks a Frappuccino? What the fuck? Why? Is it like this too was feminine, her ick. Like I too think feminine or something. There's lots of icks in the world. But I just think societally. What like, are your icks? Get everybody give me your icks. But I've I'm never, trying to I'm trying to stop being. I know like, you're trying to stop being. This is my ick type of girl because it's like, I do the worst shit. Like, we don't do any of that. We don't do any of the basic stuff. What's your ick? Give me your ick. I don't remember. Give oh me an God, ick. An ick. God, I'm trying to think. Ick. My That's... major one was um, watching a guy chase a ping pong ball. And then that's so, <laughs> that's, that's so awesome. Funny. That's so, but that's good. That's but funny. then it's like I'll be like putting on my shoes with like no socks or something, and it's like where do you have the room to like you know? That was a bad analogy. I wear socks, but you get what I'm saying. So she's saying nobody's perfect. I'm wearing socks right now, and you've got to work it. Okay. Again and again until so, you but right. you saw who's Living the sexiest <laughs> man that you know, other than Jeff, who's who is the sexiest man that I know? Is he? Yeah. Um, um, who's I? I, I don't I've know. I've gotten why I so close I'm with him that I. Like, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. No, he. I don't want him to get it. Uh, he's gonna be he too already confident. Thinks he's a sex guy I know. Too, I know. It's, it's fucking crazy. piece of shit. I, anyway, it's whatever. gotten to the point where we're so close that like I, his uh, his sex appeal no longer affects. It me. doesn't affect you. you. Know? Like, well, it is never we're affected so close. me either. We see each other in so many lights yeah. where it's like, oh my god. I love Jeff. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, he was wearing these crazy no show socks the other day, and I was like, I can't look. <laughs> Okay, you? He gives me shit because I wear. Yeah, no show socks are nasty. I know. I just there's what are you not doing? enough sock like, what in are you ratio doing? to foot. He was wearing no show socks. He was wearing that he got Lame on the ass. airplane and he put it on and I was like tucking them into his shoe and I was like, oh my god, we are just too close. 
That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. What, was he, what was he wearing? Loafers or something? What the fuck? What was he wearing? No show no, socks. No, like, like with these little sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. See, and I'm always this is how this is how people look at you when you fucking do your no show sock shit. But also, like, I mean, you can kind of. And him. this is a crazy take for me, but like, he is gay. Yeah, thank so he's you. one of the girls, so he thank could wear a no show sock. It was thank like you, Jeff, like. You know. I could show a little ankle. I could even put a tattoo on. No. Me. Yeah. No. It's it's unacceptable. Are he you just, into him? And that's why. That's yeah, that's sure. why. I want to have gay sex with him. Yeah. You you fucking nailed what it. What I tell you, Tam? Why do you have to, to say it. gay sex? Why not just sex? I think it's funnier. <laughs> yeah. and I told you yeah. I'm homophobic. Wait, he's why. homophobic. That's, yeah. And yeah. I've always said that about you. But he's but the seen. funny thing is he he <laughs> also does say that he's like it's not gay sex. It's just sex. I'm like no, it's gay sex. Yeah. He truly doesn't seem. Sometimes I'm like having sex with a guy and I'm like this is gay sex. Yeah. Because you know. Yeah. Does that mean it's like really good or like? No. That's really <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, it depends it's on who like, you're talking to. Because if I'm like, this is gay sex, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. 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 I don't, I just elaborating, I think, would do me an injustice. So, like, so. he is gay and, like, he just doesn't know how to. Maybe there is that, like, level of sex where. Have you ever had sex with a guy who was, like, straight? And then you're like, I don't know. <laughs> After. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, why? Like, oh, yeah. This like is the, Cutie's forte. Like, why are you, why were you <laughs> hyper focused on only my asshole yeah. the whole time? <laughs> you know, like, it, it's like, um, but I don't, no, no shade. I just, wait, really? A Pandora's box of Maybe questions. he's just the ass man. He just loves ass. I, but not like no, an ass sometimes man. Sometimes like you're a, like, they're gay. Really? They're just gay. Like, it's like, I might as well have just been like, just a butthole. Yeah. Wait, so that's so that's that's a red flag right there. It's not a red well, I mean, flag. Just, it's a pride flag. <laughs> <laughs> that was well, a good one. but see, uh, everybody knew. Uh, like, I think some people knew I gay. I was gay because when I was <laughs> because okay. because I would when I would people would ask me what my favorite part of a woman was. I would describe. I would say the navel. I don't think that's. You've said this before. What? I don't think that's gay. But a lot of a lot of women. Saw, yeah, I don't think that's gay. It's just stupid as hell. <laughs> it's just like no, because that I don't know. For me, like I don't really like you, boobs. Like people probably vaginas. <laughs> the type of thing that like the way you describe that in a setting would not like uh, would not hit my gay dar at all. I would just think like you're trying to be a pussy. Like oh, I love a woman's face. I'm like, not gonna no. lie. That I type kinda, of situation. But like, I, I think like I like a belly button more yeah. than most people too. Yeah. Yeah, see. I think it's an important part. It's a it's it's okay. a good it can be a part that you look at and go like damn. That's so if nice you were the guy and he was hyper focused on your belly button the whole time, you wouldn't, that wouldn't I wouldn't be, think he was that gay. That wouldn't be a pride flag. No, yeah, I would just be like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? So do yeah, But then it's like if I liked him, I would probably play into it. I'd be like putting like bedazzles around my belly. <laughs> yeah. So wait, dudes are really into anal like that, like exclusively? That's very I weird. Wait, you meet you know? the weirdest dudes. I do have you know a like, lot of weird dudes. Yeah, I know a lot of weird dudes. I definitely had just an era of my life where I felt like I was attracting really, sh you know, peculiar men. Like YouTube. Yeah. Being on YouTube does that, I feel like. Yeah, and just being in LA, just my choices in people. I'm 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 rebranding. I'm um I'm reformed from all of that activity as mm -hmm. of late. But what do you what do you do now? Nothing. Instead? I'm fucking I'm celibate as fuck. Okay. And Beautiful. are you and you're no just more no more going to hide no more age group. I'm not kidding you that that was a great analogy because sincerely it's the type of people. That's I don't even scary. know what nightclubs are popping anymore. He, he won't go. He can't last in the. I try to get him into the Abbey. Or I'm something really the, yeah. We host scares the shit out of me. Why? Because I always get roofied there. <laughs> oh shit! I haven't been in a long time. <laughs> the, and the gays roofie me. That's oh the thing God. that I'm like, dude. So what, fucked up. what was your goal? There? <laughs> yeah. they're, like, like, they're never trying to fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like I, you know what I mean. They're I just trying to fuck with you. What What are they doing? I, do, I think that they just think I'm more fun than I am. <laughs> you know, they're like, <laughs> yeah. she would love this GHB. Yeah, and then I'm like, well. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, like, I don't. I don't. It's been a long time since I've been to WeHo. I yeah. I don't really go out anymore. You know. I'm. Where's the last? Where's the last nightclub you went to? Um, I'm like asking York. because I like to be like in the. You're know. living vicariously. Yeah. No, no I, I could just live if I wanted to. Yeah. I just don't want to because I hate my, it. My dream nightclub as of late is like a Gelson's grocery store at like 7:30 p.m. But. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just in New okay. York for Fashion Week, so I had to attend some events for work that were like at the clubs there. Mm -hmm. I went to like Marquee in New York and stuff, but it was scaring that me. That still exists. Yeah, like it, it was just it's crazy. It, it just it's too much for me. I and I, it's it's so weird because I'm I'm 25 and I I feel 80 and I go to these like nightclub settings now and I'm like this is packed. Why do I want to yell over people's voices like this? It's just 
It's because you've been in LA for 10 years. Yeah. That's I, why. I feel 80. But it's like, and then I see all these like 30 year old influencer men like out of the clubs and it's just like, I don't I know. Think it's, it's a visceral ick. I think that's also because they haven't like popped off until later in their lives or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been living here for 10 years. I did all of that when I was, like, in my early 20s, and it was a lot of did fun. You? Yeah, I went so out a lot. So did you, like, kind of blow up when you were younger? No. I was just uh, here. Why? You know what I mean? Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. I grew up in Istanbul. Really? But uh, I... favorite airport. Really? It's oh. Such a good airport, isn't it? Strange. I love it. Okay. Is it not a great airport? It's fine. It's not, like... What do you mean it's fine? It's big. Even Casey Neistat said that at some point, that it was, it's, like... It's a nice favorite. airport, for sure. Yeah, Especially if you're Casey used Neistat. to just American airports. It's, it's just a great <laughs> What's airport. What's your favorite airline? What's my favorite airline? Yeah. I think JetBlue or Delta. Jet... Oh, Delta. They're Delta's both. sexy. JetBlue's all right. I think... I'm a plane No, nerd, JetBlue's so good. No. I, I like just, Louisiana's airport because they have these plastic things on the toilet. And when you flush, it rotates and covers. I know toilet. exactly what you're talking about. And I love those They're as cool. well. Those like, are maybe so Maybe they should sick. get some no environmentally talks, friendly ones. But I no like the Portland airport. I know. If, you know, if we have to forsake a few turtles yeah. for those, like, I'm like kidding. Turtles. That was a joke. I like the Portland airport because Tiana Portland airport is, like, big enough. What'd but it's still. But he likes like, the Portland. He likes I said I like the Portland airport because the Portland airport is big. But it still has the vibes of like a local airport, it's like a not tiny a big airport. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's it's, it's an international airport. Yeah, it is. That's, That's what my I mean. Hometown. I don't know. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, um, I I like it because like it still has like the vibes of a like I feel like I'm in fucking Fargo when I go to <laughs> when I'm ever in Portland airport. I feel like I'm in that in the movie or in the TV show Fargo. It's like very. It, it's got like a very uh, Midwest uh, aesthetic, even though it's not. It's not even close. Have you been to Portland? I've been to Portland. There's yeah. fucking carpet. And, and and it's like. I really like Portland. Did you, did you tour go there? Because it's a sad town. It is a Everyone's sad town. Everyone's sad in Portland. And yeah. I, I feel at home. With it's depressing. The, but I like a depressing place. Yeah. It's, it, they're owning it. They're raw yeah. the depression. They're like, yeah. yo, we're all fucking sad. It's fucking raining yeah. here. And it, it, it's just something about that feels like a hug. It's cozy. From a father it's cozy. Yeah. <laughs> You know? It's cozy. I like Portland. Yeah. W did your tour go there? Not yet. Oh, um, I've toured there before in the past. You should. Yeah, I've done some shows there, and it's really fun. People, you know that place, Voodoo Donuts. In yes. Portland? People yes. always bring me the penis yes. donuts. Oh yeah. For my course. shows when <laughs> I do them there. So. Oh, yeah, I I've never been to Portland. I've only been to the airport, and yeah, I really? refuse. You won't come visit me. I refuse to go. Oh, are you like from Portland? Yeah, I'm from Portland. No, no I, you sad. I'm not sad, no, because I come to L.A. every yeah. every week, so. Yeah. You're a little sad. Yeah. You think I'm sad? I don't, well, think, you he's, want us I don't think he's sad. You've I, talked about I, it. I, I don't think he's sad at all. He, if there's one person I know that, like, rarely ever gets sad, it's him. Really? You, you are talking to Rhea sometimes. Really? Sad. Oh, that's, you're so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, I, I, so I, I, I'm from, he works or, like eight hours a month. Okay. There's no way he could be sad. He's, I work all the time. He just, <laughs> yeah. you, no, you, I, I love someone who does nothing. I'm not yeah. saying if you do or don't. I have a lot of friends like that where I'm just like, I live vicariously through them. Yeah. I don't know. Like never a lot, had a real problem in their life. Yeah. A lot awesome. of people don't know what I do, but like I, I, um, I, I do know, a lot. You know what you do. Well, I, I do a lot. A lot of it's secret. Right? Okay. A lot of it's secret, and I don't tell. I was acting like you're yeah. fucking working at Langley. It's Come just on, like grinder. There's so much. Grinder. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. totally. He goes totally. to Starbucks no. and sits there with a laptop, and he's not even doing anything. My, but the, what matters is if you think you're doing something. That I I feel productive, <laughs> right? I go to my local Starbucks and I pull up my laptop. This is why I'm the gays love you. Roosters. Right, <laughs> one because you're messy, and two because you're. <laughs> and I just live in hyper delusion, and I'm it, down to feed everyone else. Yeah, you're like, delusion. oh no, it's great. <laughs> you yeah, don't I have to have a Thank job, you. King. Tana, yeah. this is Tana. This is the most validation. I'm gonna die anyways. Yeah, this is the most True. validation I've ever had on this podcast. I'm yeah. happy yeah. to do that for you. Yeah, usually Hassan and Will. Cutie's my working. ally over here. I try but to not really. Hard to agree with sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's because he's gay? Yeah. No. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with his lifestyle at all. <laughs> I have a hard time with it. That's why I don't go to Portland. Too liberal. Hate that. When yeah. you're on tour, how many like live people come? Uh, that's <laughs> I loved live. Like their live stock. Live, like the cattle convinced. I'm herding. Yeah. It kind of is the vibes, honestly. That yeah. Everyone's feral that comes to our shows. Um, <laughs> it's usually like a thousand, no more than 2,000 ever. So somewhere like under there per shows. And we do smaller shows and we do theaters. It just depends. Has anyone it's ever fun. tried to sleep with you? I'm really lucky show. that my fan base is so Gay girl coded. Woman. Yeah. That's so it's nice. like usually the only like men that are coming to my shows are boyfriends that got dragged by their right. girlfriends. And it's so funny to see because they are just fucking miserable to be there. They know they're getting the best blowjob ever that night from their girlfriend. <laughs> you know, so yeah. they, like, they, what do you guys talk about this? So 
just, you Nothing. know, something that guys don't want to listen to. That's a really great question. No, it's the same as wine. I mean, the problem with wine about it is it's a podcast made from a Twitch audience, which is all male. Yeah. So they two, they see two female Twitch streamers and they're like, oh, we're going to go over here. And then they start listening to us bitch and moan. And they're like, oh. And so we've had no to boobs. grow our female yeah. audience like organically. And so it's been really weird to like see that. Cause like yeah. a lot That's of That's why the she guys does fifth column style infiltration of other podcasts. So she, yeah. can, that, so she can grow their female audience. Honestly, me here. Same, same, yeah. same. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like the dynamic of my podcast, I always relate it to um, the <coughs> girls waking up after a night out in like college and then they all get on one I girl's bed that. and they unpack they what happened chat. that night. I feel like our podcast kind of possesses that dynamic very much. But what do you talk about if you don't go out much anymore? Um, There's still other stuff happening in her orbit. Which it, is, I, it is harder for a long time. I felt yeah. pressure to kind of do a lot more so that I would create Something chaos to talk to about. Talk about yeah. But I've kind of noticed that, you know, chaos follows me no matter what. So it's not, you yeah. know, our got, dating lives, our lives are, you know, right now yeah. we both had to have some weird stalker situations, Brooke and I. So we kind of unpacked that today. Just random shit, really. I have uh, a, a, a thing that's like randomly happening in your periphery as well uh, that I want to hear your uh, your takes on. What is his name? Dylan Danis. What was what do you, what's your take? What's on Dylan? Who's is Dylan? it Danis? I always thought it was Danis. I don't fucking what? know. Dylan Danis. Who is this? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't follow any. Oh, of is this that shit. the guy that's <laughs> obsessed with? Uh, he's Logan fighting Paul's. Logan Paul, Logan and Paul. so he's. Full disclosure uh, for those of you at home who don't know anything about this because you watch me and I never cover shit like this for the most part. Logan it's weird Paul. There's YouTube drama and Twitch drama. There's like yeah, yeah, I don't and know what's so about the Twitch drama. I don't really cover Twitch drama that much either anymore. Um, but yeah. Logan Paul is logan paul not exactly the biggest fan of him even though i do love mike um that's funny he's supposed to how do you get yourself to love mike and not logan <laughs> i'm I, kidding i love mike i just yeah, love to give him I a think, hard time yeah um <laughs> he well anyway we're not gonna talk about that i've talked about that way too much and he's been on the pod before twice um logan paul is facing off and fighting uh dylan danis who is uh Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy who was, I think, Conor McGregor's grapple coach. And they were supposed to fight as the undercard underneath the KSI fight. Mm -hmm. KSI is Logan Paul's business partner on Prime. And what ended up happening uh, over the course of this past month or so was that Two Dylan Danis decided to, uh, instead of shit talk Logan... He just decided to slut shame Logan's uh, fiance. Yeah, it's so What's fucked. What's her name? Nina. Yeah, Nina's such a like sweet, amazing girl. So yeah. I, I hate to see it. I really do. Um, and like really gruesome shit. Like, uh, and every day is like possibly photos. possibly yeah. revenge porn. I've if I'm not dragged mistaken. into it a couple times now. Like where he'll say something about me, and I've I've been treading the water lightly because I just. I don't need the Pandora's box of my life opened so, really by Dylan Dennis, I think. I think part of that is also because it seems like uh, he's doing the Andrew Tate thing yeah. where he's like, I'm a fighter guy and also love doing misogyny. Like, you yeah. know, and, and there is a... There's a huge audience There's for a that. huge audience for that. This, Which, dude, this dude, I feel like everything I learned about him was against my will. I did not want to learn anything about this guy. No, that's how people feel about me. But I fucking... Well, that's how people <laughs> feel about me too. But... <laughs> um, but I fucking learned about all this shit because like it kept coming up on my fucking timeline over and over again on goddamn Twitter because now it's like more of a shithole. Like all these it. women just you know making sandwiches and then it's, it's, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, uh, and that's the kind of misogyny I do like. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, I mean, there's there's tasteful. Yeah, <laughs> tasteful misogyny. Tasteful misogyny. I didn't even and, want to say it because it'd get clipped. But yeah, like, and and then like these these uh, fucking gremlins are like, <laughs> yeah, like Logan is being destroyed. Like you're destroying him, and it's like, I mean, all he's done is just like put photos of her that she took with like other people. It's also like Leonardo DiCaprio and shit. Like I know if that happened to me, it would be some lizard from Los Angeles with like face tattoos and no career. So at least it's Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. Um. I mean, all of that is uh, unfortunately in the name of the fighting game. And it, you know, it's, you could classify, where does the line draw where it's good fight promo or it's too far? I think no like women and children is like the mafia. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, women and children. That's like, true. Even, even they drew a line at that. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's fair. But, but yeah, really fair. I, I think that there's like a, there's a lot of hostility towards uh, women. And there's a lot of hostility towards men from what I would uh, categorize as, as Brad Fems or Fem Cells. Uh, not to the same degree, of course, and obviously so the systemic, 
The systemic implications are, are not the same either. However, it's always like it, everything devolves into gender wars mm -hmm. online, I feel like, especially on TikTok too and certainly on Twitter. And I, at a certain point, it's just like, you know, dudes are just kind of using this as a way to like become more famous. I mean, he it's hard because like it's 60, working. 000, yeah, he went from yeah, like 60,000 followers to like a million. Everyone. That's what's annoying. Is it yeah. like such a re rinse and repeat thing? Like I'm a guy with no talent, so I'm just going to start shitting on like women or gays or whatever to get more clicks. And then all of a sudden I'm making money off of it. And it's like, oh my God, how exhausting. I but mean, it's interesting because like Logan Paul is such a target rich environment to shit on. Like. Mm -hmm. If he just kind of shit on Logan Paul, I would have been, I would have been there for it. You know what I mean? I don't fucking know anything about Dylan Danis. I but think then people only... love to see Logan in a like weak light or like in a, you know, some people love yeah. to like see this. I, I mean, I can't lie. I can't wait to see this fight. Yeah. I'm, when when's when the fight? is it? Yeah. Um, I that's the funny thing. All this promo and none of us know when it is. Yeah. That's really fair. <laughs> but but I, we're going to find be... out though. Yeah. And we're going to watch mean, it. Cause it, you know, it's interesting yeah. to see. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. Like I'm in, I'm, I'm invested now. Can keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah just, well, uh, we were, I thought I thought you were figuring out when the fight was. How many no. fights do you chew a day? You think <clears throat> I have no fucking clue. More than twenty, probably. Is that like a three hundred pack? Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah, it's Costco. Oh, it's Walgreens. October fourteenth. Oh my god, that's yeah. so long. There's another month of him posting pictures of her, his girlfriend. <laughs> Is it every day? Yeah. No. Well, she she also like uh, got a restraining order on him successfully. As a matter I don't of blame fact. Her. That's and and uh, apparently, like her Snapchat might have been hacked, and like that's where <gasps> he's getting that's some an of ick. the. Ooh. An ick is when guys use the doggy Snapchat filter. Mm. Get out of my life! So gross. Ooh, yeah. I think just Snapchat in general. You look stupid as hell. Oh I shit. can't like if a guy's like, "What's your Snapchat?" I'd like. Okay, okay but like line. in, I have to do that to like validate what somebody looks like on Grinder. I understand. Cause, well, Grinder and Snapchat kind of go Austin, hand in hand. Stop defending yourself. Grinder and Snapchat go hand in hand. That's, it's all hookup culture. You won't yeah, have true. the same ics you know? as us. Oh, I know, but I was just, you know, I was just seeing like what. What do you think about that? You just I, keep wanting passes from us. I'm it's trying to. I need, culture. We think you're cool. Tana is valid to me today. I need to be. I oh. need to get all I can. I think Snapchat's a part of. Yeah, hookup culture, okay. and you know, if you're <laughs> just trying to hook up with someone, it, it works. If so, it, so I'm, I'm not like I'm definitely okay. like I, I'm ready for okay. marriage. So I really am. She's ready to trade. You're ready her to dowry. settle down. Mm -hmm. Okay, trad yeah. wife. Where, where are you what? look? Are trad you trad wife? What does that mean? Traditional wife. Haven't you seen the propaganda on like TikTok of them like all these men? want us to go to the workforce but like harness your female energy and stay home and be a caretaker and and make cookies and bake and so it's people what make made it so for. sweet i'm like i know i've been watching it and i'm kind of like wait see like i'm kind of down for misogyny sometimes you know what i mean <laughs> like dude That's like you, you go about. build that i shit. do want to harness my female you go energy. build that shit i, want to stay I will home. make this sandwich you know what I mean? like, sometimes but like i want to eat it too i don't want to give it to somebody that's my problem you know what i mean you're a feeder oh huh? you're a feeder with cookies yeah. I'm in a cookie kick right now. I'm just a slut for the chocolate perfect. chip. I used to be a pastry chef. What do you oh my God, What do you like? What, what's the brand that you're... Okay. It's not cookie? about the brand. It's about just a good, like, oh, just, I don't, anywhere. But there's got to be, there's got to be like one that's like consistent. Sea Salt X chocolate chunk collab. Oof. Like, oh, I love a little sea salt in there. Like that? I like hard cookies. Like, Ooh, I want them, oh, I no. want it to be like hockey puck status. You don't like oh, fucking really? chewy? No, like chewy Chips Ahoy. Bleh, oh, I want no, I ew, love, Chips Ahoy is disgusting. chewy cookies. Chips Ahoy in general is nasty because like, I feel like there's like a chemical taste to it. I love like a OG, like an original the crunchy chips, chips ahoy. ahoy. That's yeah. a Vegas. Uh, thing. I, I hate. Yeah, I hate. I hate crunchy, Amos. chewy over crunchy oh any God. day. Yeah. They must be pumping those chips ahoy with a lot of chemicals because I've had some in my pantry with the bag open for like three weeks and they're still chewy. And I kind of put my hand in there every once in a while. Yeah, and they're still chewy. I just don't fuck with that laffy taffy texture. Yeah. No, I like chewy. I like chewy cookies, but like not chips ahoy, like real. Cookies. I want that shit to break like homemade choose. cookies. <laughs> yeah. Wait, even homemade cookies yeah. you like hard? Yeah, like oh, I, I set them out and oh, I like wait gross. for them to like. That's interesting. How can you call yourself a cookie slut when you have such bad taste in cookies? That's usually how it goes for me, you know. It's nasty. Like I'm yeah. just repping my horrible taste. Like what about crumble or way. some shit? You know, usually. what I mean? I've never had a crumble cookie. Those oh, things are insane. Soft. Like and I'm it. an LA influencer. It's you like, won't get like your priority straight. They're too soft. You won't like it. Um, you have to harden it. You won't it. like it. It's, they're huge. I can them out for like a day. Yeah. They are. They're crazy. They'll still be soft. They're crazy because they literally like they sell it as uh, 
like one cookie for like twenty dollars or something. No, I'm in the wrong business. Yeah. Do you yeah. want the crumble cookie drama? Yeah, I know that. Are you gonna say the calories? Is that what you're gonna? No, bitch. Oh, what's oh, the other drama? Let's talk about deeper. the drama. What's the drama? Sure. So there's this cookie company called Penguin Brothers in uh -oh. Logan, Utah. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. And then Crumble started their cookie Don't company. Don't tell Dylan Danis. Mm. Also from <laughs> in Logan, Utah. Yeah. And they started, Crumble essentially stole all the Penguin Brothers recipes. Ooh. But then they got more famous. How Ooh. do they steal the recipes? They, they, it's chocolate chip They cookie. had an ex-employee from like the Penguin Brothers. And uh, for the record, it might not be called Penguin Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, this is it a was bad some name. rogue thing to make. It was something. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. But they stole somebody another cookie company's recipe, and that cookie company kind of sucks. And Crumble went crazy, mostly because their marketing, because their recipes were nearly identical, because they mm -hmm. yoinked them. But then they pretended like they didn't. Those they cookies did. are fucking nuts, though. They're yeah. like nothing to yeah. the world. They're like <laughs> seven hundred calories per cookie. Yeah, it's insane. No way. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. 30, 40 it's grams like of this fat. big, but it, the the entire fucking cookie is like a whole ass meal. Which leads me to my uh, the the subject that I wanted to discuss: the new ice spice latte on uh, oh Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. Y'all seen this shit? Uh, yeah, it's crazy. What up, Wait, ice spice like the singer? Yes, has a latte. It's incredible. Ice Spice collab did a Duncan. collab with Dunkin', and they re the recipe got leaked. Be famous enough to be something that I can drink. Um, He'll I will never, never do with the corporation. it. Yeah, I'll never do it. I could never. I could do it now. It'd like, be like no corporation is interested in the oh, free. Oh yeah. Piker oh, drink. I could do it now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know? I could totally. No, do there's it. there, right there's now. been yeah. corporations that have. Re oh I mean, yeah, they'll make the Hassan Gatorade. They want no, Don't not Gatorade, it. but I Hassan did Hassan Prime. Yeah, there was for the longest time there was uh, uh what's it? I think it's Factor, like one of those like pre uh I pre like cooked meals. meals. Yeah, they wanted they were to do a collab. To do a you not collab with anyone. I very rarely do. He only does like video game sponsors. Pretty much. Really good. Yeah, I I, I usually I'll say take no. any dollar. The only I'm sponsor I was actually going to do me that too. I was like kind of stoked on your boyfriend took. What do you do? Me Crocs. He does. Yeah, yeah. but but Crocs he yeah, reps. They sent these to me. Oh, so you're wearing them. Which they, ones? And the pieces of too. shit. <laughs> yeah. Ludwig got the freaking. Yeah. I'm not even gonna ones. show it. Actually, I shouldn't even show it. Those assholes. Um. Yeah, we were. I was supposed to do this like be like a brand ambassador. This whole thing. And they just like went quiet after a while. And I uh -huh. kept hitting up my manager. I was like, what the fuck's going on with this crock shit? What's happening? And apparently it was like, this is how it always works. Usually there's like a fan in the marketing team that like really pushes for me. And then like when it goes up to the higher level execs and they Google me and the first thing they see is like America deserve 9-11. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't yeah. work with this fucking guy. Yeah, you could have like some Twin Towers Crocs. Yeah, that's what <laughs> exactly. Well, each Croc is a tower. One is it a would, tower, it one would is actually a plane. sell really well too. And, and think about all the little gibbets. <gasps> the, the gibbets could be the planes. Yeah, yeah. that's a million dollar idea right there. See, there you go, Crocs. Hit my line. I'm still, I'm still down to do it. All right, show this TikTok. This shit is bananas. Okay. B a n a n a s. It's like it's very. It frustrated me watching this. My friends, this is a pumpkin swirl frozen coffee. Who the thought it was a good okay. idea this to put is this like on the menu the because this <laughs> drink has 185 grams of sugar in here. How much How is it? 185 grams. She's um, going to show. Much. It's 46 teaspoons of sugar. Oh to give my you another God. perspective, the amount of sugar in there is equal to 14 glazed donuts. I would much oh rather eat the donuts. Because it There's good? no pumpkin in here. It's artificial flavors. Uh, There's 12 mentions of sugar and high fructose. Is he corn in the Dunkin' Donuts? There's yeah. 930 <laughs> calories. That's the part where the pause it. 930 calories. Holy shit. That is literally shit. for the average like male Americans like diet uh, is like 2,000 calories. Yeah, that's crazy. But this is going to sell so well because of the the the, the everybody's on the and 194 <laughs> carbs. Two thirds of us are already type two diabetic. Or Dude, we're, we're fucking killing. This is gonna become people. the new one chip challenge. They're gonna be like, how many of these can you drink before you die? Yeah, literally. I just like 910 calories. I, I don't. Try it. This is yeah, the type see, of this it's is, see, it worked. See, their marketing yeah. worked. This Sucks is like it, you, you know. give this to like a like a French adult and they die immediately. <laughs> they drink that and they're dead. They perish. That is the diabetes pack for sure. Because right like there. I I oh God, it's so it's like frustrating because it has no dietary fiber in it. Even it's supposed to have like crumpled up crushed donuts or some. This shit is like really what stirs your soup, huh? Grinds your oh, gears, yeah. keeps you up at night. It's just like it, it was very. I'm frustrating. sorry you're going through this. When I found out about it, it pissed me off. I'm really sorry. <laughs> There's so many better ways to 
consume 900 God gives calories. his toughest battles to his strength. <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah, I'm the, you know. I'm the Mujahideen for calories. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, they that's what I... They donuts into the drink. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's <coughs> that definitely... Sounds, that's but insane. no one's getting that thinking like, God, this is my green juice of the day. I think everyone knows it's that type 2 diabetes. No, I think that. it should be illegal. Like, I literally think that... The, the marketing executive that came You're out with that should be... always trying to control us. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That person should go to jail. Dunkin' Donuts ice spice up. drink is the new fentanyl. Spread the word. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it'll yeah. just won't be as quick, but... Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely... I mean, obesity is a big problem. I'm just saying. You know, think about that. Mm -hmm. All right. On that note, we're going to talk about even more stuff behind the paywall because I think we're at that time now. Oh, shit. Do I get a cut? No. Yeah, not, yeah no not at all but if you want to check that out you need to go to patreon.com slash fear and we have all the the new updates right march yeah, yeah we have all the the, have the bells so and whistles shit, we have a lot of shit thanks to cutie you and me no i guess you record one thing i don't do shit i don't do shit for it yeah um, tan is there anything you want to you yeah she's on tour right like now. vaping right now like yeah horrible I appreciate you guys having me on. I'm on tour right now. Um, we'll be releasing new dates soon that will be available. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, Portland. Tune into the canceled podcast if you're a part of the 4% audience over here that might enjoy the things we talk about. But Wait, really? This is 4% men? No, I was saying the 4% of... What's your audience? It's uh, 70, Oh, 30 yeah. women? He has a higher female audience than I do. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's kind of crazy. Because oh, well, he, does, he does more like broad talking and I I'm started here in for gaming. The I'm just, you know, it was nice to meet all of you guys, and I just wanted Such to come to the Such a pleasure, Tana. Vibes. Thank you for having me. Such a pleasure, Tana. Thanks all right, for we'll on. see you on the Tana. other side. See you on the Woo! other side. Do you, you know who Ludwig is? Oh. No, no she doesn't know. She doesn't, she like, doesn't know. do any of this stuff. Well, She's like, my boyfriend. I wonder if you think he's cute. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if you think he's a jock, too. <laughs> It's so funny because we're in such a similar <coughs> world with such a different world. I know. We're like, we're know. yeah, but doesn't that give you a, a, a sense like, of like. It's like Lord of the Rings and like some of us are in the Shire and some of us are in Rivendell. Go back. Go no. back to that photo. That photo is so funny because he was wearing a romper. Wait, where'd it go? A romper. He was wearing a romper from Target. How long have you guys been together? You could see his wiener. So he had to, he had to put shorts over it. The wiener fanny pack. Incredible. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. How long have you guys been together for? Do you think you're going to marry him? Do you believe in traditional oh, concepts of marriage? Um, Are you going to stream it? Judy, speak into the microphone. <sighs> Hassan, shut up. 